What's up, math fans? Uh, this one, I want to talk to you about geometry, okay? And when I start talking about geometry, I usually start with point, line, plane. And then you can kind of develop into a bunch of different directions. Uh, I started talking about rays, then I turned them into angles, and then I turned them into angle pairs, and I have lines that intersect like this, and then they form vertical angles. We talked about vertical angles, corresponding angles. We talk about, uh, actually right here, you're gonna see the angles we're talking about today. Alternate interior, same side interior, and corresponding. But before you get to these, I talked about um, the types of angles there are, acute, obtuse, right, straight, and reflex. Then I talk about angle relationships like uh, complementary, supplementary, and vertical, okay? So once you're comfortable with complementary, supplementary, and vertical, then we talk about two lines parallel to each other, all right? And here's a demonstration. Parallel lines are generally defined as two or more lines that are equal distance from each other at all times. So let's say these two lines are five feet apart. They will always be five feet apart. No matter how far they extend in either direction, always five feet apart, therefore they never intersect. Two lines that never intersect, parallel. Here's a symbol. If L is parallel to M, here's line L, here's line M, we're gonna say that they're parallel. It's not drawn to scale, you didn't see me draw it, but if I say this, that's enough for you to conclude they're parallel. And then you got another line going this way, that's called a transversal. That's a line that crosses through two other lines, two or more other lines. In this case, two parallel lines. So I even put a T here to show you this is T for transversal, okay? That's the notation, I'm throwing a lot of vocabulary at you. If I talk fast, if I write too much, the cool thing is you can just pause the video. You see what I did there? All right, so, or you can rewind the video too. Now, list a pair or name a pair of alternate interior angles, blank and blank. Looking here using these numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there's eight angles. Give me two that are alternate interior. Well, you gotta know what interior means first. A lot of this stuff is straight English. Interior, inside. Think about these two parallel lines as making this two pieces of bread making a sandwich. The inside of your sandwich is interior. The outside of your sandwich is exterior. Interior would be in this area. Exterior would be in this area or this area. Okay? Outside, anywhere. Could be on this side too. It's exterior. All right? Interior is anywhere in here. So, alternate interior. Well, what does alternate mean? It means take turns. One side of the transversal, other side of the transversal. Inside the sandwich. Hmm. Alternate interior. Let's see. Three, six. Three is on one side, six is on the other side, but they're both inside. Three and six. And you should be an overachiever and give me another example too. Well, three and six work. Four and five also work. Okay, you see where I'm going with this? Same side interior angles. I'm interior, so I'm still inside, right? Interior, still inside. Now I'm on the same side of the transversal. These are alternate, man, these are same side. Four and six. Come on, overachieve. Give me another one. Mm -hmm. Three and five. It's pretty simple. It's not even math yet. It's just really English and location. You gotta be able to identify where you're at. Corresponding means in the same location. So if you look at the first two intersecting lines, they form all these kind of opposite angles and all kinds of angles. And if you look at these, they form one, two, three, and four, right? Just these two. These two lines form four angles. And if I highlight all four angles at the same time, it kind of forms a circle, kind of. It does form a circle. Same thing down here. Circle, it's a circle, right? Circle up here, or wheel up here, or wheel down here. It's like a bicycle. Well, this part of the wheel, this angle six is in the top right-hand corner of this wheel, corresponding to the same location. Go to the same location. Upper right-hand corner of this wheel, angle two. Therefore, angle two and six. Two and six. Give me three more pairs, same location. One and five work. I hope you're ahead of me, or you can always pause it so you can get ahead of me. Three and seven work. And finally, by process of elimination, four and eight. Four and eight work. I don't know if you can see that or not. This says three and seven, this says four and eight. Okay. You need to identify the angles. Once you identify the angles, now we're gonna figure out their relationship. Alternate interior, look at angle three, and 
and look at angle six. You see how I'm highlighting angle six? You see how I'm highlighting angle three? If I really super annoyingly highlight them, well, I made like a Z, the letter Z. This was not highlighted earlier. Forget about that, right? So I made the letter Z. I called it the Z property, which says these are alternate interior angles. And there's even a backward Z if you highlight four and five. You get a backward Z. So both of them alternate interior. What's their relationship? Check it out. Three is the same as two. They're vertical. There's a video that explains that. Opposite or vertical angles are equal to each other. So three is the same as two. And two is the same as six. Two and six are in the same location. Then three is the same as six. Therefore, alternative your angles are congruent. Not supplementary, not complementary. They're congruent. Same side interior. Four and six. It's like a C property. C, the letter C makes a C. They are huh, supplementary. Okay? And finally, corresponding, well, I kind of gave it away already. Same location, same everything. They are the same congruent. Okay? You should be able to figure it out just kind of by looking at it. And I'm going to give you regular angle measures so that it's a little more obvious okay you might want to draw this again fresh so let me get rid of all the distraction okay and we're gonna look at this thing with values and you know what you can you can teach yourself pick your favorite number put it somewhere put it somewhere on this thing okay so pick your favorite number my favorite number is, I don't know, 80. I'm going to put 80 right here. 80 degrees. That's all you need to know. You can figure out the rest. Isn't that cool? 80 and his partner. 80 and his uh, supplementary angle. Uh, it's got to be 100. Forms a straight line, a linear pair, right? Straight line, 180. So it's got to be 100. Hey, didn't you just say vertical angles are the same, congruent? So that's also 80. And, well, this is 100. Hopefully that adds up to 360. Of course it does. 100 plus 100 is 200. 80 plus 80 is 160. 200 plus 160, 360. You know, I'm standing straight up and just kind of leaning. I hope you're not seasick. All right, next. These, pick your favorite number again, right? No, 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 no. These are the same as this. If this is 80, the corresponding angle is 80. And once you got that, the rest, smooth. 80, 80. 100, gotta be 100. That's it, simple as that. That's the basics. You get the vocabulary, you get the relationships, you're straight. Now for the 